Welcome back. In this video, I'll talk about the second degree heart block, MOBIDS 1. This condition is very important and you will see it everywhere in the clinical practice and in your exams. It is caused by electrical disturbances between the atria and the ventricles. It is one of these conditions that are important to treat, but there is no sense of urgency, like MOBIDS 2 or third degree heart block. So you need to treat the patient, but you do have some time. The ECG findings are very interesting, and if you have any exam that includes interpretation of an ECG, you will most likely get this example. You will see that the distance between the P waves and the QRS complexes are progressively increasing, and then suddenly the QRS complex is dropped and the distance goes back to normal and then gradually increases again. And this pattern is exclusive to this condition only. And remember, anything that is unique to one specific condition is very high yield. To know the causes, think of anything that would damage the electrical pathway of the heart. So ischemia, myocarditis, increased vagal tones in some patients, or of course cardiac surgery. All of these conditions have the potential to affect one specific area of the heart that just happened to be the pattern or the pathway of the electrical current. The patient will have some vague symptoms that are non-specific, and these non-specific symptoms are the worst because they do not point to a specific diagnosis and they can be tricky to the spot. So the patient might have fatigue and weakness, dizziness or lightheadedness, fainting in some patients, especially if it was very severe, or if the patient had other comorbidities, chest pain or discomfort. To treat these patients, you need to exclude any major causes first. So if the patient has myocarditis, you should give them antibiotics and the appropriate investigations. If they have cardiac ischemia, they should be immediately sent to the cardiac cath lab, and so on. But generally speaking, we give the patient atropin, and this increases the heart rate and eliminates these weak spots. Alternatively, you can install a pacemaker that is temporary and apply to the skin. But like we said, you should exclude all the major causes first. Our ECG course contains all the changes that can occur in an ECG, and it helps you become an ECG expert, so that you can recognize any ECG that you might come across. The course contains everything that might affect an ECG, all the symptoms, the causes, and of course the treatments. It also has plenty of quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure that you cement these informations and be able to answer any question about an ECG. You can access the course using the link in the description or in the pinned comment.